in the vision, though, he, he didn't move. He, he didn't move his, his legs, his feet, his hands, his arms, not even his head, not even his smile, not, not even his mouth when he smiled. But he possessed those godly characteristics. He had emotions within him. And um, I really felt like God just, just wanted me to, to tell you guys he smiled. He knew you guys. He did. I spent a few hours with, with Mikey uh, a couple of days ago. Just he and I. And we, we talked about so many things. Whiskey, beer, wine, <laughs> cars, finances, places to go, places to see. At the end, we talked about Andrew and his life, and what that means for you guys. And he told me, he goes, you know, in the last few years and months, he stopped moving, he stopped smiling, he stopped laughing. He just, he just lay there in his bed. He goes, I don't even know if he could see us when we walked into his room. Normally, as a parent, that would just make you really sad. Um, but I got a big old smile on my face, and I said, Dude, God gave me this word. Um, I'm going to share it with you right now. Uh, I want you to talk to Leah, and if this is something you want, let me know. Uh, if not, I'm going to share it anyway during the open mic. <laughs> and I, I, sh I shared it with Mikey. Genesis 126, God made Andrew in the image, in the likeness of God, of himself. And so I, I think this message was really for you guys, specifically for the grandparents, specifically for siblings, specifically. Um, when you guys talked around him, he heard you. When you walked into his room, he knew your presence. He smiled at you guys. He had emotions. I was able to share that with Mikey um, a little bit. So he asked me to to be a, to come up here today and to share it with you guys. It's amazing how um, how the Holy Spirit moves in people. How he uses people to, to share words, to, to, um, to beam light, if you will. Uh, so I just, I felt very honored that, that God had gave me that word and that vision to share with you guys. And just to let you know that even the grandparents, I feel like this was even for the grandparents as well and the siblings, that he knew all of you. And he knew you guys. He, heard, he could hear your voices. He knew who was speaking. And he had his emotions within. With that word, um, Leah wanted to, to close it out and say a word. Um, I'm going to pass the mic off to her now. Wow, this is the first time I've seen how many people are here. 
Oh, well, so I've been spending all week trying to come up with something magical and profound to say <laughs> to everybody who came and honored Andy today and supported us and stood with us. And <laughs> a lot came, but nothing cohesive, so I'm just going to shoot from the hip. <laughs> um, first of all, if you're here, you've been part of our support system in some way, shape, or form the last eight years. And I can't tell you how much that has meant to us. Seriously, even if we didn't see you, if you prayed a prayer and covered us in prayer or loved us or took care of Andy with us or gave him therapy or helped with his education plan or loved him or loved us or sent gifts and times when I was feeling so alone. And then God would, somebody would just send a card in the mail, and there it was. And I knew at that point that God saw me, and he saw what we were going through, and he wasn't ignoring us. And sometimes we needed that reminder. So if you did send something along the way, know that that's what you did. <laughs> you know? My request, our request, is that if you've seen anything different in us, just know it's God. It's not anything but God. We don't have any superhero skills or anything along the way that you've seen strength. It's just been God. And you can't let your kids out courage you. So we kind of had to meet Andy's courage and his warrior spirit. And uh, we all did that together the last eight years, and uh, we just wanted to give him the best that we could, and the best that he had to experience in his experience. And the other thing I just wanted really, the thing that was really impressed on my heart to say is that if you are, are a believer of Jesus Christ, just know that you are a vessel like Andy was. You are called to be an empty vessel for God's kingdom. And that when you take on that, when we take on that acceptance of salvation, we empty out. And he gets in. And I look at Andy, and he was the most willing of vessels. I mean, the piece that Justin was talking about. If you've ever been in his room and just been with him, it was incredible. And... Um, I don't know, even with all the seizures going on all the time and all that tossing in the waves, we always likened it unto my prayers were always, Lord, bring him calm in this storm of the seizures. And when he would still have seizures, I'm like, God, why is there no calm in the storm? And it, the calm was there. It was inside of him, inside his spirit, even though his brain was going nuts. And... Um, we're thankful for that. <laughs> Sometimes the seizures will cause him to smile, and that's the only times we got to see him smile. So I think God even knew we needed that sometimes. <laughs> but I look at this, my little boy, and I know Mikey does too, and we just like, the kid was here for the purpose of helping us know God and helping everybody that ever came in contact with him or with us to know God in a little way. And we're changed forever because of it. And <clears throat> we see ourselves as torchbearers to continue sharing what Andy taught us and what God taught us through Andy. And even sometimes just being stripped down because of the care and the exhaustion. But when you're stripped down and in that place of exhaustion, God can talk a lot. And he does talk a lot. And we've always tried to... I've always, I mean, anybody who's friends with me on Facebook knows I'm an open book. So, <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I guess that's kind of, I'm going to keep it simple and not complicate it. And just say thank you all. If you're here, you mean the world to us. And have along the way. And we've never taken it for granted for a second. And, uh... If you have any takeaway from any of this and you want to help us continue to make ripples that Andy started, just 
Think of Andy, think of anything you've ever had, any takeaway you've ever had from our life, and we'll continue to take away because we just want to keep the ripples going, you know, because he made a lot of impact, and that's how we can remember him is just keep his ripples going. So that's it. Thank you. There's some people that it takes them 100 years to make an impact. There are some that it takes a day. There's some it takes a few years. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. Um, I think Andy's changed our lives forever. And I'm so grateful to you guys for saying yes to the task, to the assignment, you know. I wanted to tell you, too, that, you know, God trusted you with the gold and the preciousness that is Andy. I mean, he trusted, he trusted you. It, he knew it was going to take courage. He knew it was going to take patience. He knew it was going to take an extraordinary amount of love. And you guys experienced it and, as a conduit, provided it to Andy. Well done. Really, well done. All done. I got to speak to the regrets because you're going to have some, and you're going to, and, and the enemy will try to bring uh, even condemnation to you. But there is no guilt, there is no shame, and there is absolutely no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. So every time that thought comes, hey, by the way, did you know that God had some children? They messed up so was God not a really good father he was a perfect father okay there's no perfect fathers right but in Christ Jesus there's no condemnation because Jesus paid it all yes he paid it all so Live in the memory of the success, the beauty, the time that you had. Because here's the deal. Andy hasn't gone anywhere. He's eternal. He is. Job thought, God, you told me I'm going to get a double portion of everything, and I've lost 10 kids, and, and now I've only got 10 kids back. What? I should have had 20 kids back. And he goes, wait, 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 wait. You lost all these possessions, you lost all that. I doubled that up. But you, you lost your children in your mind, but you never lost your children. Andy, God knew before you ever knew him. And he's just so glad to have him home. I'm kind of, you know, let's be honest, heaven, earth, And he gets there first. But with that said, with that said, he's saying, oh, this is so worth that. Don't lose heart. Because he overcame this. And so will you guys. The pain will come, but so will courage. The doubts will come, but so will faith. Because every time that the enemy means something for destruction, God has an intention make it very good let this be very good all right let's make this very good that his life is very good in jesus name father i thank you for this day i thank you for the celebration of andy's life i thank you for the time that we've had with him in the earth and i'm grateful for the time we have with him in eternity what a great hope that we have we have great hope because we have you Christ thank you for that provision of hope that you've given to us your great peace that you paid it you paid it so we didn't have to and now we just want to receive it and I ask these guys receive that amazing grace in Jesus name Merci, Fanny.
Through. 